This lesson introduces the TI-83-84 calculator. The calculator has a numeric keypad. There are digits 0 through 9 and a decimal point and a minus sign. The operation keys for addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division are the blue keys on the right. Press Enter when you want to terminate an entry and tell the calculator to evaluate an expression. Here's an example of an expression with all four operations. Here's an example of an expression with decimal points. Be sure to notice the difference between the minus sign and the subtraction operation. For example, here is the expression 12 minus negative 3. You can clearly see the difference between the subtraction operation and the minus sign. Many keys have more than one function. If you press the math key, the calculator shows the math menu. But the same key can be used for two other things. Press clear to return to the main screen. Above the math menu in yellow is test. If you press the yellow second key and then the math key, you get the test menu. Press clear to return to the main screen. Above the math key in green is the capital letter A. If you press the green alpha key and then the math key, you get the capital letter A. So, the math key can be used to show the math menu, the test menu, or the capital letter A. If you press second memory, which is in yellow above the addition operator, you will display the memory menu. Press Enter to select the first entry in the menu, and you get the About screen. The About screen shows the version of the current operating system on your calculator. You can go to the Texas Instruments website and download an update to the calculator's operating system. Also, the About screen shows an ID code for the calculator. Write this down somewhere. This ID code cannot be changed, so you can use this code to prove this is your calculator. Finally, the About screen shows the address of the Texas Instruments website, education.ti.com, where you can download applications and learn more about your calculator. Press Clear to return to the main screen. Go back to the memory menu. Use the down arrow key to select Reset, the seventh item on the menu, and press Enter. The calculator shows the Reset Memory screen. It has three submenus. The first is the RAM submenu. You can use the right arrow key to display the Archive submenu and the All submenu. Do not use either of these menu items unless you understand exactly what they do. Now, use the left arrow key to go back to the RAM submenu. Press Enter to select Reset All RAM.
The calculator shows the reset RAM screen. Use the down arrow key to confirm that you want to reset all RAM. Then press Enter. The RAM cleared message appears on the screen. The random access memory of your calculator is cleared and all the options are reset. When your calculator does not seem to be running correctly, reset RAM. This will often solve the problem. This lesson has been brought to you by the Math Fun Academy. It's continuing mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new math and new equations, to boldly go where no math student has gone before. <laughs>